To explain the telehealth is basically what happens is we have a dedicated phone line um, for both facilities, both Twin Cities and Sierra Vista, Tenant Health Central Coast. And so once you call that number, you are actually speak to a registered nurse who at that point listens to what your, your complaints are in regards to having some type of illness. Um, they then at that point, if you are able to, to have a telehealth visit, they are able to, um, to set that up for you. So you'll need some type of a smart device, you'll need a computer that has audio or video or something of the sort so that you can actually um, get on the platform to be able to have that visit. That they then schedule the visit. The visit is with a board certified emergency physician who um, then gets on this platform and he basically does a visit with you. And you know, depending on what the chief complaint is or what your complaint is, um, he's able to work, walk you through the process. So there are obviously some things that the, an emergency department um, is not going to be able to do a telehealth visit for. Anything that requires some type of diagnostic, meaning if you think you have a broken bone, you're going to need to come in for that. It's going to require an x-ray. Um, if you're having shortness of breath or something that's going to require more um, diagnostic testing, labs, x-rays and stuff, you'll need to come into the emergency department. But by making this phone call, you're actually able to say, is this something I need to come in for or is this something we can do a telehealth for? There's often times that I'm able to take those phone calls and when I'm able to take those phone calls and talk to patients and hear about how they are apprehensive about coming into the emergency department because they are fearful of COVID um, or fearful of exposing themselves to um, something um, and to be able to talk to them and let them know, hey, you are spot on, you do need to come into the emergency department or we can help you through telehealth. Um, and then at the end of that conversation for them to be able to say thank you so much and that they've been able to actually talk to somebody in person and know that this is a safe place to be and that there are measures in place to keep them safe and protected. Those are the moments when you go, I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. And those are the moments that make a difference.